probably have one of these, an automatic sprinkler system. And we're gonna check today, and we're gonna check with these great little things. Check this out. So I'm gonna show you how we, we test this. We test it with these. You need one inch of water every week. Now that means if it rains, you subtract that. But what we have to do first is we have to calibrate our sprinkler system with one of these. Let's get to it. Let's put it on the lawn. We'll stagger them out all over the lawn and I'll show you how I did it. So we're gonna have it out on the lawn out here and we're gonna put it in a whole bunch of hot spots, right? So we're gonna look on the lawn where it's dry and each zone, we're gonna put one on the outside and you don't have to stick it in too, too tight, but you stick it in the lawn just like that and we're gonna put them all over the place. So here in this box, it looks like I got 10 of them. So we're gonna put them all over the lawn. We're gonna have to take an average. We'll see how accurate it is. So I'm gonna spread these out all over the lawn, as you can see, nice and even. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna multiply it by four. That'll show me my rate by hour. So let's, let's get running, let's see. And I'm gonna let it go for 15 minutes and then we're gonna run it. I know they're thinking I'm crazy, but this is actually the only way to figure out how much water is getting in those cups. Other than that, it's just by average. And they, the software asks you what type of head you use, and it takes the best guess. And that's not how we roll. We're gonna get an inch of water a week. From what I could see is we're not filling up the cups fast enough, so we're gonna have to go into the half hour. But we're gonna let it run. This is better done in the morning when there's no evaporation, but you're gonna get a little bit, but this is how we adjust it. We're gonna just watch it. Something about watching sprinklers run. I need to know how much water's going down so I can readjust my sprinklers. It's costing a fortune to water the lawn. I'm not sure if this is gonna scientifically come out correctly, but we're gonna try anyway. We're gonna average it. Let me see. So it looks like, looks like we're doing, look at that, a quarter of an inch every half hour. So an hour is a half inch, very simple. Let's take a look at the average of them though. Make sure they're all about the same. I bet you they're not. Yeah, that's a little bit more, not too much. This is on the outside. So let's see. This one's got like a lot less water. Well, not really. Yeah, a little bit less. <clears throat> so there's a point where you have to take a judgment call. Most of them are a half inch. One of, one of them is a little light. And that one's the one I'm going to have to monitor. <laughs> this one's a little light too. This one's almost, look at this. This has got nothing in it. So there's a spot right here, right here, that's got very little in it. But at least now we know that. So if it starts turning brown, I know I need to throw some water down over here. So that makes sense. I have a lot of trouble over there. The best way to conserve water would be to get the adjustments perfect. That way you're not wasting all the water. There's gonna be some hot spots. So I guess when we do this, I'm gonna to have to average all the cups. So there's 10 cups, we'll just have to add what we have, divide it and get the best average we can with the heads until we, we adjust the heads sprayers. The ones that are really bad, I'll take note and I'll change the sprayer heads for either more output or less output, depending on where we have the cups placed. 
I'll be able to mark the head that I need to put a better spray ahead in. So I'm getting a half inch an hour, right? So I would have to run twice, twice a week to get an inch if there was no rain. So let's hope for rain. If you water every day and you let it go and then it rains one day that week all the way at the end, it was a waste of water. So just be mindful of that and you won't overwater. Your bills won't be insanely high, but you'll get the correct water on the lawn. One inch, one week. Very simple. Thanks for enjoying the video with us. We'll see you soon.